First time watching Invincible Season 2, Episode 2. This one's called... In about six hours, I lose my... Wow, it's so big, it can't even fit in the title. Whatever, it's called this, all right? Before we jump into it, though, how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing good, too, by the way. My name's Afan. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Now, in a little bit about the previous episode, uh, we saw Omni-Man and Mark Invincible in a uh, alternate reality we also saw a lot of new superheroes we saw the globe trotters or whatever they're called <laughs> the golden globes or i don't know something guardians of the globe or something something like that we saw that brain dude trying to bring everything together trying to make it work and it backfiring massively and now he blames uh mark invincible for that mark is doing his best to uh get the people on his side uh cecil in particular to have him trust him and not him be seen as Omni-Man as his father. Which, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I mean, it's tough. It really is. It must be. And we saw Debbie and uh, Olga as well and how they're coping with life. Not that well. But then again, who would really? I mean, that's normal to go through something like that after such a shock. I mean, it's literally shattered their world like the little world that everyone has but then the actual world as well do you know what i mean so it's just massive anyways yeah a lot is happening a lot to um unarrival so let's just get into it. without any further ado here we go we're going to college together i guess i get to keep my superhero boyfriend hmm. now in charge we are down here immortals back yeah ah the Martians, the Sequids taken over. Finally! Damn. Just put me back out there. Mm. Zeger is trying to get over everything, you know, trying to move on. Mark's not seriously going to miss his own graduation, is he? Why I quit superheroing. I mean, you only get to say goodbye to high school. <laughs> He'll be here. He promised. Hmm. He's back. What is it with you and historical monuments? Mm -hmm. to, uh, professor? That one kind of looks like a penis, not gonna lie. Do you know what this obscene phallus is constructed from? Yep. Granite! Mm -hmm. From the earth, from humanity's endless ruinations. Isn't that most buildings? Mm hmm. It's also your clothes. Ones made of wood. Oh, yeah, because wood's definitely not part of earth, right? Trees, I guess. <laughs> what about your jetpacks and your clothes and everything? What are they made of? Ah, Idiot. Daddy. I liked you better when you just hated president. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Without testing your limits, you will never know how strong you truly are. This guy gets his ass whooped every episode. Honestly, I kind of get why Omni-Man is so disappointed in you, Mark. <laughs> well done, buddy. I think that shot's from the teaser as well. Even your greatest heroes are useless against the power of God! There you go. I guess that's supposed to be Omni Man's penis because he came out of it. <laughs> yeah, no, because he did actually. Anyways, destroyed per se. I could, you know, I could try pushing it back out to, you know. Do not do that. <laughs> As the great Abraham Lincoln once said, "Whatever you are, be a good one." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you're a dick, be a good dick. <laughs> oh man, wait till I tell you about this guy. He's a case against higher education <laughs> i'd say it's been fun but you know high school marcus sebastian grayson high school <laughs> congratulations graduates yeah! Yeah! whoa <laughs> remember be bold be original be invincible can he not move his neck oh okay I don't feel any different. It's graduating high school, not losing your virginity. <laughs> Nothing but swimming pools and sleeping late for two whole months. I mean, on the weekends. 
Maybe. <laughs> I'm at the community center Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Yeah. Oh, and that's your idea of a summer... When you think finishing high school is an achievement, then you go to college and you think, you know what, let me finish high uh, college. And you're like, yes, finally. And then you see life. And you're like, can I go back to high school, please? I'm uh, gonna go help finish the reconstruction up in Chicago. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that weird for you. Or that wasn't. How is that weird? That's amazing. No, I know what. Why? But like, why is that weird? Like, well, shit happens. Like, you gotta rebuild. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm on call. Cecil might need me. They're always on call now. Oh, he's not drinking. Cool. The job. It's all right. Here. So he can get drunk? Virgin Mai Tai. Very funny. Virgin Mai Tai? Is it just your ties that are virgin? Anyways. Uh, well, what, what, well, what, what makes you think I know anything about Martians? I, um, I have to visit uh, the urination chamber. <laughs> Oh, that's the dude that got infected? You are a smart Earth astronaut. Nope, you're not. Lovely. Sorry, how long have you been standing there? Not that it matters, because I have <laughs> nothing. I know things haven't been easy since Mars. What's he doing? I don't know how else to say this. Please don't kill me! <laughs> what? <laughs> you're taking a temporary leave till you can get your head on straight. <gasps> <laughs> Straightening his head. Yeah, blending in to public. Not easy. I get it. <laughs> That's how I am too. Trying to do my best not to stand out. Only making it worse. Oh, it's Eve. Let's go. Wow. As if nothing happened. I'm just trying to help. Okay. How do I know that's the code? Go stuff your coat up your ass. <laughs> It's about time someone cut through all the red tape and did something. Mm -hmm. Six years. <laughs> oh, but unless you know somebody, good luck. Yeah. You know me, don't you? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Wow. She's like basically a god. <laughs> That's cute. Like a goddess, you know what I mean? Like we saw in that uh, Eve episode. She is... Too powerful. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. It's taking a toll on her, right? She looks exhausted. Is she alright? Is something wrong? Since when do you drink coffee? Since I got my powers. I hadn't noticed. The thing one closed. Yeah, I was gonna say it didn't close. That. I told Cecil those contractors he hired were total amateurs. Can we please not do this right now? Sorry, I guess we're both still a bit raw. I want to, but Cecil told me the Guardians are working out some issues, and I don't know if I can take off right now. Well, what about taking the time to enjoy your last summer being a kid? Hmm. Yes, I know that. You're an adult. No one thinks you're going to turn out like your father. But then why would you even say it? Oh, I'm, s I'm sorry. That's not what I mm -hmm. meant. Mark, I need you. Thank God. <laughs> what? I have to go. Wait, Mark, wait. Ooh, it's going to be easy. But you can't just ignore these things either like she's trying to, you know, you got to face it head on, you know, there's, like he said, why would you say it if, uh, you know? It's hard, man. It's hard. Oh, somebody got me in the balls. Maybe if you trained more and complained less, we could get back to saving lives. Uh, Ooh. Kate, is that you? It seems like she was having fun. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Huh. Oh, are you shitting me? What? You and I were never a thing. The immortal and I are. Deal with it. Kate, don't do this. Please. <laughs> Rex. Doesn't feel good, does it? Role models, protectors, but no one ever yep. Sucks to suck, buddy. Oh, speaking of sucking. <laughs> I know you lost your job, but the rent's been due for months, so, you know. I do? <laughs> Just find a way to pay your bills, or I need you out by the end of next week. <laughs> it's like I do. <laughs> Martian Man. Martian Man. 
Martian man always made time to help first responders on the scene and made Earth his home. You can too. You can be the new Martian man. Here's a need to know. BM. Which is perturbing me considering that I personally ID'd what was left of his rib cage last year. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's the theme. Every time something like that is mentioned, I'll apologize to him. When you say cursed, is that like a metaphor? Mm. It's like a meta five. Perpetual darkness, summer on the dark side of the moon. Wow. Uh, that's incredible. Weird. Muy increíble. <laughs> Let me know when you're hmm. done playing tourist. <sighs> oh, help me. Batman. Whoa, that actually is Batman. Darkwing was at my 12th birthday party, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't kill people. He's night boy, his assistant. Assistant? I mean, you mean sidekick? We don't use Nightwing? Like Batman Nightwing? Robin and them. I don't know the whole that well, I don't know a little bit, but you know. So watch it. Huh? Whoa. He's got actual powers. My predecessor developed this exoskeleton to help even the field against those like you. Okay. That's not. We can teleport. But I hope you like it. Because you are never leaving. I like the old Darkwing better. Mm. I'm the hero here. I'm saving the world from Omni Man's son. Let go! Not until you take me back. You would never. Like you said, I'm Omni Man's son. <laughs> Where were you? You'll have to ask Darkwing Sidekick when he regains consciousness. <laughs> I gotta sign off. Something just came up. Anything I can do? I doubt it. Debbie, what a pleasant surprise. What can I. Oh. Dead. No dangerous stuff, and he calls the shots. You have my word. Sir, the Mars file you request. She's worried. I mean, I get it. Wouldn't you be too? Are you okay? She was just leaving. That was Donald. Trump? No, he was. We saw him in the preview. He was the dude who was killed, right? They exploded in the building. Everything's fine. You don't sound fine, They keep fine, bringing huh? people back. Is he a superhero too? Provided for this family longer than you've been alive. That's great, but let her help now. Turn it back. Ugh, you're being stubborn for no reason. I said change it back. Don't leave it there. Leave it there in the corner and just leave. Dad, sell this. Hi. Yeah. Just, you know, relax. There's no need to get angry. You know, help. Slowly they'll come around. Mars. <laughs> Oh. My. Don't step back. Don't take a step back. You brought me to Paris? It's Paris. <laughs> yeah, so it's just Las Vegas. <laughs> you only get an hour for lunch, and I can't fly you to Europe that fast without your skin ripping off. <laughs> Give me a sec. <sighs> Dinner tonight instead. <sighs> Go save the world. <laughs> just make sure the voice in your ear isn't the only one you listen to. Uh, you need to take her. Also, I need to take you back to war. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> you want me to go to war against an entire underwater civilization? Who said anything about war? Negotiations. Tone for the king's murder is to marry his widow. What? It's an honor. And you think about it. I can't marry a fish. I have a girlfriend. Hey. Strictly symbolic. You might not like fish sticks now, <laughs> but you will get to eventually. Okay, but like, will I have to? You know. Yeah, I guess. You're right. Oh, they got no teeth. Imagine the. Mmm. <laughs> Martian. I call me the Shapesmith. Oh. Shapesmith? The hell is that? Usually, this weird around here. You have no Basically. Idea. Nice shot, cameraman. 
That shot turned me into one of those buildings, you know? Up right. Anyways. Yep. I went there. Welcome, son of he who slayed my heart. Oh, that. You were I am. Right. Air breather. Getting married? We abolish that barbaric custom. Good. What do you think we are, savages? Fishies. Oh, oh my. Oh, thank God. Well, hold on. Wait till you hear the new custom. So, what's a new law? Hmm. <laughs> Kinda looks like a Pokemon. Uh, okay, I win. Can I go now? Yeah. I was expecting that. <laughs> Everything's broken. Let's sell this bitch. <laughs> okay. It's too far from the office. You want me to get home even later? There's excellent local transit. Of course I don't. I just think- It's not happening. When you earn the money, you can decide where we live. She's not your pet. Oh. What was that? Did we mention the spacious garage? Why don't you all go ahead? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> problems everywhere, man. Everyone is going through something. Unfortunately. Your file on Atlantean law needs some serious updating. This one you will. Back up some way. Don't send backup. That will be kind of like a war signal or something, right? You can just keep your distance. And you won't be able to do anything. Here's the ears. Back up. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Uh oh, it broke the shackles. Yeah. It's gonna attack all of them now. Yep, there you go. You're not your father, Mark. That's why he's gonna go back. Yep. Oh, literally. Okay. Did you just punch him in the balls? Fish balls! Fish sticks! Ooh, lovely. Just gonna pull it, lovely. Um. Uh oh. They're not gonna help? Wow. Kind of looks like Mark Grayson. You got lucky this time. This <laughs> is calling it even since the next time I give you an order, you listen. Pull up the audio from that fight. <laughs> but your order was gonna. RD, I want to report in a week. Create another problem, or not solve the problem. I suppose he was there to solve. Distressed when she, when she saw me, and she's a distressed person. <laughs> no one did on her. Who knows what's going through her head? Anything else? So he doesn't know that he died? No, sir. Donald Duck. I know how hard you work to provide for mom and me. No one is trying to take that away from you. But you mm -hmm. gotta get over this stupid man of the house thing. Yeah, trying to he does have that ego, that typical dad thing, you know. The whole lot was unstable. That's why the city never built there. This is what happens when you think rules are just for us pathetic normal people. Dangerous. <sighs> Don't come back until you figure that out. Such a dick, you know. She is trying to help. Like, you got to look at that as well. Like, I, I understand what you're saying. But at the same time... <laughs> the cabinet again. She's already not having a great day because of the pet thing. Although that was a comment made by her. But, you know, the husband-wife situation. That's Nolan. That's... The, yep. Go on, give her a hug. Come on. Pick her up. No? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and over here Cannot be is easy. Room. Wow. Now, whenever she sees something abusive, like, you know, <sighs> earlier, 
even if it's not like too out there, it's gonna remind her of Nolan and obviously it's not gonna say well. I got my superpowers in a random industrial accident. Mm. Or to use my abilities for good and to help people and to protect my planet, no matter what. <laughs> because I am a normal human superhero. <laughs> wow, he literally is me. <laughs> I am a normal human. Yes. Well, I'm not sure about the human part. I mean, the hero part, but. It was my plan. But we are not a joke. No matter what social media says. <laughs> Ed? Lovely. Anyone is going to turn this organization around. It's going to be King Lizard. Any objections? I guess none. That's the end of that one. Oh, it's not over. I thought it was over. Think of me as an old friend. An old friend who can help you. Give the, the, the dude. Ar Arsenal or something. What was his name? After our ultimatum, they ambushed my dad with experimental quantum bombs. Still cost them most of Europe. Wow, chuckles. Just... Freeze! Who the hell are you? Ah, uh -huh. that's Cecil. Make him pay for what he did to your world. Hey, you promised you'd help me. Hey! And now, because it says next episode, which I'm not going to watch right now. We will. Just not right now. But you, however, can see it right now if you want over on my Patreon link in the description. Also, full length reactions are there as well. Alrighty, my mateys. It's quite an episode. Uh, pretty interesting. I am liking the fact that they're focusing on uh, Mark and Debbie having to deal with the aftermath in a bit of a different way than others. Actually, that's not entirely true. Adam Eve seems to be dealing with it in sort of a similar way. Not exactly, but sort of. She's having issues with her family as well. And we saw that in that Adam Eve episode as well, uh, that we got the Graysons, right? Debbie, Omni-Man, and Nolan, and Mark. And then we had her, Samantha, and Adam, and, you know, them boys. So he had one side where the dad... Uh, was trying his best to, you know, one, wait till his son has powers, and then once that point is reached, just destroy the entire family, really. And then you had, not just family, obviously, the entire Earth he wanted to take over, but the family will stick to it at this point. And he had Eve at the other end trying to make it work, although if you think about it, there is a bit of a parallel that the dad, although the dad I don't think is trying to destroy it, but it's just the way he is, like I say, he's kind of a dick, you know, he's got that pride, that typical sort of traditional dad sort of mentality that I have to be the provider, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that, it's just that when you see that things aren't working out, maybe give something else a chance, do you know what I mean? And not be so stubborn as he is, not be so full of pride. Um, uh, instead, try to give your family the best chance, which is by letting Eve take uh, over. Now, of course, he's got a point there in that Eve hasn't really figured it out. And how can you really in such a short amount of time? She obviously needs more time to figure it out. And Brandyworth is not there to help her either. I suppose Cecil can help, but Cecil's not exactly a mentor either. Do you know what I mean? He's more of a sort of a tactical, military sort of a personnel, Brandyworth would have been a much better parent because that's what she needs. She needs a parent, you know, a dad, a proper dad uh, figure, which I think Brandyworth would have been. Brandyworth actually might be her actual real biological father, so who knows? But um, yeah, there's a lot to unpack, as it always is with these kinds of shows, really. And that's why I love them so much, is because they're so funny and so full of action and so disgusting at times. All well. the same goes for the boys also, which I'm watching on the channel as well. 
But they also have real deep messages and actual important things that needs to be discussed. Like the, the you know, that scene where uh, the husband and the wife were buying the house. Like it's such a small little scene and Debbie noticed it and she said she's not your pedic because it reminded her of someone else that was also abusive and, you know, to be treated uh, that way. And so, you know, these are real issues. These are actual things that happen in real life, unfortunately so. And like I said, you know, there, there are problems that everyone's facing. You know, Eve's got her own problems. Mark's got her own problems. We saw that couple, they have their own problems. Debbie's got, you know, a whole bunch of problems as well. And, but, but you have to, you know, work through it and try to figure it out and do your best. And I think they are, for the most part, doing the best. And I think it's finally, finally, at least with Debbie, I think she's reached a point where she has realized that maybe Maybe putting on this brave face isn't it. Maybe that's not the way to move forwards. Um, you know, she tried to sort of stop Mark there as well. Like, let me just go through it. Just push through it, John. I mean, alone, which is not ideal. And then there at the end, she realized, you know what? You're my son. Well, let's go through it together. And I think once you come to that realization, I think then you can start improving. I think you can then start to feel the difference and start to bring a change about in your life and, you know, raise uh, the family or Mark, although Mark is already pretty much an adult at this point. But, you know, get back to some sort of a normal life, you know. And um, yeah, they're trying we had uh, Cecil and Eve, and I'm assuming everyone at some point is going to apologize to Mark for bringing up what Omni-Man did. We had the fish people as well, holding Mark responsible. And, you know, that's another one of those things that you got to face these problems head on. You know, you can't just say, oh, well, you're not your father. Yeah, he's not his father. Of course not. And I don't think that he should be held responsible for the sin. You know, son should not be held responsible for the sins of the father. I agree. But at the same time, there is that thing there. It's just dangling there, do you know what I mean? Like a pair of balls where <laughs> he could. And what are you going to do about it if he does? Although, like I said, he does seem to get quite a, a beating whenever he goes up against these monsters. But in the end, he comes out victorious. And I think it's because he's inexperienced. That's why he's getting a whopping. Not because he's not powerful enough. I think he's plenty of powerful. But, you know, th back to the point, which was that, yeah, sure, you're not your son and I, uh, all of that, but still there is a chance. And if there is a chance of something so massive happening, then you have to be careful and you have to have precautions. And that's what Cecil's doing. And that's what everybody else, Immortal and all these other people are doing as well. I don't think they're bad people. I don't think they mean any harm, but he's just looking out for themselves and for the Earth, which is, you know, uh, uh, Earth is uh, under attack i mean omni man declared war even yeah he left but he left saying that he will be back and that that is his plan so yeah he can be back any moment even if mark is fine he will be back any moment and then what right so you have to understand that and um try to deal with it instead of ignoring it and um i think uh, adam Adam Eve's, Atom Eve's dad, Adam, will come around as well once, you know, they, they, it takes time. I mean, this, this is massive news, you know, this is like, I, I, I kind of get it. It can't be easy to see that this child that grew up in your arms, you know, now being in charge. Uh, it does, it, it is that ego thing, like I said, and it can be very difficult for a dad at certain points, but I don't i mean i don't i personally don't see anything wrong with it but what i'm trying to say is i do get it you know i i don't think what he's doing is right but i do kind of understand and i think it will take him a little time to come around and i think he will come around and i think uh they'll be good by the end of this i hope at least and we have the this other plot now with this dude blaming Mark for whatever happened to him and so he's uh gone around in different dimensions and Catching all the marks, all the invincibles, and, uh, yeah, getting his revenge. So, yeah, there's a lot happening. I'm loving the interdimensional sort of multiverse, you know, take that they have here. I know that Marvel and all that, you know, DC and them are trying to do this as well. And they're doing it well as well, but I, I like this take on it way more because it, it I, i'm getting it now like the more i see it i'm like oh, okay it was very confusing at the start but i understand it now and i think it feeds into the story and it's actually good like it, it's for the development of 
the plot in general, but the characters that are involved as well. It's not just like there because it's glamorous or that it's like a cameo that people are going to get excited about, like fan service. Do you know what I mean? It's not just that. It actually helps the story, which is why I like it so much. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, like I said, check out my Patreon if you want to see the next episode with a full length reaction. And um, yeah, videos go up first there as well. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice.